All right, hi guys. We are live, I think. Let me know if you can hear me. Hi, Abigail. Oh, hi, Darren. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Goldwolf. Hi, Tribeca. Hi, Yoni. Welcome, everyone, to the 11th live stream. So the final, the final live stream week and then it's Christmas. So we only have five live streams left. Oh, hi Juan. Hi Marcella. All right, so because it was requested a lot, I will be doing a Vox today. I'll be starting up this portrait and then I'll see if I'll be able to finish it within the streams of this week. I do want to do some other drawings too, so we'll see how far I'll get. And otherwise I'll just finish it um, in the new year. And I will be drawing this fox with soft pastels, pastel pencils on pastel matte. This is, um, I'm not sure what this paper is, what this color is called. Maybe it's like sand or something beige. Um, I chose this color because it's close to the color of the fox. So I thought this would be a nice base color to use. And then I've taped it all around the edges with masking tape. Thanks, Yoni. Yeah, I got this reference from Pixabay, but the original reference photo is the whole body of the fox in the snow. And I figured I prefer to do the head and the chest only. So I just cropped it out. And this is the reference I'll be using. Um, I haven't put a link to the reference in the description yet. So I think I will do that after the stream. I have the sketch already um, done. So I, do, I did the sketch with graphite. You can see it. It's very, very light. I think I'll make it even lighter using a kneaded eraser. I don't want the graphite to mix in with the pastels. I want it to be so light that it won't interfere with the pastels. So I just tap a little and lighten the sketch up a little bit more. Hi Will! I totally forgot to do the um, event thing in, in the group. I totally forgot about it. I, I must do it tomorrow. Alright, let's get started. I'll start with the background and then I'll do the fox after that. I will be using a combination of Koinor self pastels and pastel pencils for the background. And then for the fox itself, I'm using only the pastel pencils. And with the pastel chalks, it will just go a bit faster covering this big area of the background. But I don't have a lot of colors. I don't have a lot of pastel colors. So that's why I don't use the soft pastels a lot for pieces like this. Um, but I think just these two, these two grays will do. Not sure actually. These two grays. This is white. <laughs> Alright, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. 
Also, um, don't forget to, to give this video a like because it really helps me out. Alright. Starting a new piece already, uh, always, always, that's the word, always scares me a bit. Just doing the first part of a new drawing is always a bit frightening. Because there's always that little chance that I will mess up, although it doesn't really happen a lot. Just that first step. Is always a little hard. Let's see what this gray looks like. If it's a cool gray or a warm gray, this is Alright, I think this looks quite good for the background. So I will be using these two for the background and then for the details in the background I'll be using the pencils. So these are grey and white. How was my weekend? Thanks for asking. My weekend was quite good. I did a lot of shopping and I watched The Lord of the Rings, the first part. And that's it basically, it was a, quite a relaxed weekend. Making sure to not go over the edges of the sketch. And I'm using horizontal motions because I don't want um, that to be visible. I don't want the movements visible. So I try to stay very consistent in my motions so that you can't see any changes in direction for the background. I want it to be very smooth. You can see that the edges are a little bit darker and then here in the center around the fox it's very white. And I think I will be adding a bit of blue to the background later on with pencils. And you can also see a little bit of purple in there. Um, yes, the stream will be on my channel forever, so you will be able to watch it back. Yeah, me too, Abigail. I really wanted to do a fox. But the owl was really fun too. The owl sold and it is now on its way to the UK. Do you wear glasses when you draw? I always wear glasses, so um, yeah. I don't have very good eyes, so I have to wear glasses or contacts. 
but lately I've been just wearing glasses all day. So sorry for the people who hate this sound. Can change it. What are your plans for Christmas? Are you going to spend Christmas with family? I'm blending the colors together with my ring finger and I'm blending in circular motions to get a smooth effect. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be eating so much as well. Luckily, I don't gain weight very quickly, so <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Yeah, these are not really dusty and I really like them because of that. I also have some Rembrandt and some Unison pastels, but um, those are very, very dusty. So I don't like them as much, but these are really good. being very careful around the fox do I also draw people? no I don't at the moment I don't and I don't really plan to in the near future actually I just enjoy drawing animals too much and there is there are so many animals that I haven't drawn yet so um, yeah I will be busy drawing animals and I won't even have time to draw humans I hope I'll be able to get quite far in the stream in the drawing this stream. I want to be able to finish the background and I'll see if I can start with the fox itself.
Yeah, exactly, Will. <laughs> what do you like better? Do you like humans better than animals? Um, Gabrielle, I found the picture on Pixabay. Pixabay.com. That's a website with all kinds of ro royalty free references that you can use. Oh, you prefer people, really? I find people so hard, so difficult, but that's probably because I haven't practiced them yet. Alright, so I want to get rid of this streaky strokey texture but I don't want to make the layers too thick right away because I still want to be able to add the details with pastel pencils you can see those blurred out trees in the background and those I really want to add I'm learning how to draw human hair. Oh cool. So actually human hair is what I don't find difficult to draw. What I find the most difficult is um, getting the proportions of the eyes and the nose and everything right and to get the skin smooth. That is what I find really difficult. Oh no, so stupid. I've just gone over my sketch lines. I just didn't see them. All right, no problem. I'll be able to fix that later. So that happens if you aren't focused. That makes doing, the, doing these live streams so hard. Because reading is not hard and drawing these um, pictures for me is becoming less and less hard as well. But doing both at the same time is so difficult. Alright, so I'm trying to pick up some of this white with my kneaded eraser by just tapping. Try try to see if I can lift something some of that up. I don't want to rub too much because that's going to damage the paper. But I can just do a bit of tapping. And then I'll just layer my other colors on top of that if I do the when I do the fox. All right, so let's continue. Let's add some more of this gray.
this week, the final week before Christmas is always so busy for me. It's probably for everyone. I have so much to do before Christmas. Trying to draw around the ear now. Oh yes, pestles are so suitable for this kind of drawings, these kind of drawings, because they work so quickly. That's why I love to live stream using pastels, because if I would be using a colored pencil for this same drawing, um, I, would, I would have maybe be able to do like this part in two hours. I have to remove this little plastic off my pestle now. So sorry, having a little bit of trouble removing this. That's the part that I don't like about these pencil pastels. The plastic is so tight. And I don't see the benefits of these plastics either. Let's get it off. All right, that's better. Yeah, but that's the case with many schools, I feel like. My, boyf my boyfriend has his exams as well, after Christmas. So, I guess it's common, but I don't really understand why they do that. I can understand that it's very stressful.
try to work a bit fast. Because hopefully I can then finish it within three streams. I spent four streams on the owl, which was a bit much, I feel. So I hope to do this one in three streams. Larry 2.0. <laughs> yep, this is Larry 2.0. I just keep blending, keep adding layers without using too much pressure. Also, if you're new to the stream, or if you're just a silent watcher, feel free to say hi. I'd love to know everyone who is um, watching my streams right now. Hi, Romy. I'm so excited to start a box. I want to be finished with this background as soon as possible so I can start with the detailing. But it's not good to rush because the background is also very important. Hi Fabian. Hi Camilla. Oh, thank you so much, Will. <laughs> I almost had already forgotten about it because I feel like I already feel like I made that ages ago and the response hasn't been so good. So I had already forgotten about it. But yeah, check out my pastel course in the description. 
It contains everything you need to know if you want to get started with soft pastels and pastel pencils. Alright, now I'm going to start cleaning up the edges and adding some color and I will be doing that with the pencils. So the pastels I just use for covering up the first layer. Oh, good luck, Alina. Alright, I'm going to take the pencils now, starting off with white. And with white, I'm going to clean up the edges. I'm already keeping in mind the fur texture, so I'm not drawing a solid line around this, uh, the sketch line. My sharpening strategy, um, I have this Faber-Castell Color Grip Universal sharpener that I really like, although it gets dull quite quickly, so I just had this one new and it's already almost dull. So I like this one, but I need backups, but it's not really expensive though, it's around 3 euros I think. So that's my um, pencil sharpener. And that's it basically, <laughs> that's my technique. And otherwise I just use these, these cheap ones. Oh, hi, Petra. going quite fast here. 
that's good. For those who are new, who are wondering what this is, that's a little mistake I made. I accidentally went over the sketch lines with my white soft pastel, so this is a little mistake, but I will clean it up later. I feel like this transition here can be a little bit more smooth, so I'll be using... Let's go in with the white pastel once again. Oh yeah, sure, let me know, Will. I have um, used one electric sharpener so far, but I didn't like it, especially not for pastel pencils, so after that I haven't really tried any anymore. But I'm still looking for the best pencil sharpener for pastel pencils. Alright, now I want to add some color to the background. So I think I want to add some blue. Let's take number 440 from Stabilo Carbothello. And I will be adding this blue really lightly, mostly around the edges. Just to get some more color into the background. Oh, hi, Mara. Welcome to the stream. Trying to keep my pressure as even as possible. I don't want any blotches. I'll be taking my ring finger again, which already had some white and gray on it, so I don't mind that, because then um, the, the blending will be easier. And in circular motions, I'm blending this in. Yeah, finding the right sharpener for pastel pencils has been quite a difficult journey. So far the Faber-Castell color grip works the best for me. I also really liked the Derwin Superpoint manual sharpener, which I've used for a, c a couple of months. And I really liked it, but it just broke out of nothing. It just broke. And then it got dull, so 
it got dull really quickly and it just it just broke so now i can't use it anymore Alina, that's great. Did you tag me in that uh, in that in Instagram post? Otherwise, feel free to tag me so I can see it. to add some more blue here at the top and then I want to add some purple because I can see a slight purple hue in the background so let's see which color to use for that maybe this one so this is a very dark purple, so I'd have to be very careful with it, but I'm not looking for a very vibrant purple, so I think this one will do. This is number 640. 40. Wow, that came out wrong. 640. And with a super light hand, I'll be adding this. Do my fingers hurt? No, not at all. I'm used to it now. I'm used to blending with my finger. So I guess, yeah, I never really had a problem with my fingers hurting after blending on pastel matte. So I think I'm just not really, what's the word? Sensitive, that's the word. Sometimes I just forget words. I'm not really sensitive to it. Petra, iedereen schrijft vooral in het Engels. Er kijken volgens mij nog een paar andere Nederlandse mensen, maar voor de rest allemaal Engels. I really like this tone. The combination of this dark purple with the blue. I really like that. It gives the background a lot of depth. I'm not going to add too much. So I'll leave this for what it is and then add some on the other side.
Oh, good luck, Alina. Ja, yeah, if you're Dutch, um, als je Nederlands bent, mag je best in het Nederlands schrijven. Maar de meeste mensen schrijven in het Engels. Dus dan, uh, dan wordt de communicatie wel wat moeilijker. Alright, I like this. I think it's time now to, to add the blurred out trees in the background. Which colors do I see there? I don't see any specific colors. I think I'm going to use dark blue. A very dark blue. I'm going for the color 770, which is the color paint gray. Then I'm going to recreate the shapes of the trees that I see. Very lightly. This doesn't have to be exact. I'm just more or less using the reference as a reference, but I'm not copying it. Let me know where you all are from. I know I have some Dutch people watching. Germany. to be very loose with this. Some are a bit darker than others. Some are a bit more detailed than others, but all these twigs are just so blurred out. So I don't want any harsh lines in there. So I keep a very light hand. Belgium, USA, Canada.
Colombia. Oh, cool. Alright, I'm just going to try to blend this out a bit and see what this looks like. It might need some more layers after that, but we'll see. I'm not not really blending it, I'm just tapping it, otherwise I will just fade out everything. So I'm just tapping. Een expositie? Nee, tot nu toe nog niet. Ik heb ook niet heel veel werk eigenlijk om te exposeren. Het meeste werk wat ik tot nu toe heb gedaan was allemaal in opdracht. Dus dan heb ik het natuurlijk niet meer. Maar misschien in de toekomst. It has to be even more blurred. I'm just going to blend it now. Needs more blur. It does get a little bit too blue now, so I think I want to contrast it with a little bit of brown. Maybe some grey. Let's start with brown. This is number 635. No, that's too light. Let's see what the gray does. No, that's not the right color. I'm looking for a... What am I looking for? A very dark color that's more towards brown. Let's try this brown. A little darker, but still not dark enough. Then I'll just use this purple, I think, 640. Oh, 
in combination with that paint gray. That might be able to create the right tone. <coughs> but this is a very difficult texture to recreate. Let's see. I don't want to add too much color to it. Sorry, I'm concentrating a little bit more. So I'm not really reading the comments. Just need to find the right color. Oh, thanks, Yoni. <laughs> oh, cool, Rob. Thanks for joining the stream as well. Le leaves in colored pencil. That's really interesting. How many languages can I speak? Um, two, <laughs> English and Dutch, and that's it. I can read a bit of German, I can understand it a little bit, but that's it. And I can Probably count to ten in French. <laughs> Alright, like I feel like if I overdo this it will really hard it will be really hard to correct. So I think I just won't do too much to this anymore and just see what this looks like when the fox is done because then i think everything will come together a lot more just like with the owl i didn't like the background of the owl pete's piece either but after the owl was done i did like it so i think there's even more purple in the background on reference so I think I will just add a tiny bit more of this 
overall. Thank you, Claudie's World. Yep, Juan, that is Dutch. Sounds a lot like German. So here in the back, there's a very dark tree. Thank you, Macy. Glad you could join the stream as well today. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> I just um, sent it off today, so it is on its way now. I will send you a code of the track and trace. There's something in the sky here, I'm not sure what it is. But let's just draw it in. Could be a little leaf or something, or a little fly. Yeah, thank you, Macy. The owner is right above you. <laughs> Darren purchased it, and I'm really happy with that. Why do I begin with the background? Because with pastels, it's easier, because then you can draw all the little hairs of the fox on top of the background because it's so easy to layer the colors on top of the other layers because if I had started with the fox then I'd have to draw the background so the white of the background around all those little hairs and that's very time consuming, very difficult so it's a lot easier with pastels to start with the background
All right, now I'm going on top with that purple tone, color 640, to make this a little less blue. And this little fox will probably be for sale as well. Unless I completely mess it up. <laughs> But I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> no, Mara, I'm actually, I like the noise. I like the sound. But some people hate it. And I can understand that as well. I might up end up adding snow to this background as well. I liked how that snow looked on Larry the owl so much, so I might end up adding snow. But we'll see. The background looks very misty now. A bit scary actually. Um, Olivia, I'll probably start on the fox tomorrow and then I'll just uh, wrap it up after the background is finished. Yeah, I think I'll do that. What's the time? Oh, I'll, I've been streaming now for an hour and 15 minutes. So yeah, I think I'll wrap it up after the background is done. And it's almost done already. Yeah, Mara, the this paper eats the pencil. So that's that's a negative, but I think it's worth it. Actually, when you don't press too hard, um, it's really not that bad. But if you have to cover a large surface with these pencils, it really eats your pencils. And my fingers never had any trouble with it, actually. 
it doesn't hurt. Some people are more sensitive to it. some of the vibrancy some of the brightness of the background I feel so I feel like I have to bring some of the white back especially here Um, I have my blocks that are great for backgrounds, but I don't have pencils or the proper paper. Um, paper pastel mat is my absolute favorite, Claire Fontaine pastel mat. And the pencils, I would go for the Stabilos, Stabilo Carpathello, which are in my eyes the most all-round pencils, because you can sharpen them really well, so they are good for detail, but they are also soft enough to cover larger surfaces. And they are really vibrant and nice colors as well. Oh, bye, Yasmin. Hi, Andrea. All right, I'm adding some more white just to get some of that brightness back. And then I think the background is finished.
Um, the count of colors. Um, the Carpothellos are 60. Yeah, 60 colors. Do I want, want to add something else? Maybe some black or shouldn't I? No, I'm not going to use black. But I do want to darken up some of these trees. A little bit more. to be careful now with the blending because I just put back in that white so I don't want to get it too dark again So for those of you who don't know, I have a Patreon channel on which I upload all these kinds of, um, all kinds of real-time videos, real-time tutorials, just like I'm doing here in the live stream, but then I'm only focusing on explaining what I do and how I do it. So that's what I do on Patreon in graphite, colored pencil and pastels. At the moment I'm focusing more on colored pencil. So on Patreon I do the colored pencil stuff at the moment and then I save the pastel stuff for YouTube at the moment. But you can find a lot of pastel work on there as well. Graphite work as well. For a very um, good value. Lots of hours of video for four or seven dollars a month. And at the moment we're working on a horse in color pencil with a graphite background. So that's all so really cool. So that's what this month's Patreon tutorial is. I'm working on that right now, finishing and uploading all the parts. And all the video is completely in real time. Oh, good night, Mara. A collaboration, yeah. 
I've been so busy lately, so I haven't even thought about doing those kind of things. But yeah, sure, anytime. <sighs> Will is probably also very busy. Now I'm just cleaning up the details. Adding some color here and there where I feel like I need it. Thank you, Kieran. What do you think? Is this background done? I feel like if I am doing a lot more on it, I will uh, overdo it, kind of. I will add too many things. So I'm trying to keep it quite simple. I can't wait to start on the fox. Really? Actually, I haven't drawn a fox before. So this is my very first fox. I tried it a long time ago in pastels, but I messed it up right away. So I threw that drawing away. And after that, I'd never tried a fox anymore. So this will be my full, first full fox. So I'm really excited. looking at it now it's not the same texture it's not exactly the same texture as on the reference it doesn't have that same kind of blurry look to it but I think it might also um, look more blurred after the 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 fox is finished i wanted to say wolf it's a fox so i think i'll just leave it like this and then after the fox is finished, I can always come back to it. 
to change anything if I wanted to, if I want to. Can't I can't stop working on this. All right. All right, I'm reading reading the comments right now. Final questions. If you have a final question for me, let me know in the comments. And after that, I'll wrap it up. Random question. Have you ever drawn a flamingo or a pigeon? Um, no, I have not. No, I don't think so. Bye, Will. Thanks for joining the stream today. If there are no more questions, I will wrap it up and go to bed. I have streamed for one and a half hours. That's not as long as my previous streams, but I think it's good to stop here now and then start fresh with the fox tomorrow. I can't wait to do the eyes. All right, thank you all very much for watching. And I will clean up my hands now. Look at how my hands look. Very dirty. Bye, Yoni. Oh, one more question. Do you prefer pastel or colored pencil? I prefer colored pencil if I have to choose. Just because I feel like, like they are more versatile. And I can go more detailed with them. But I also really like pastel. So it's hard to choose. But I, if, if I have to choose, I would choose color pencil. Alright, great. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you all for, for joining the stream. And then I'll see you tomorrow in the 12th stream already. Alright, see you next time. Bye-bye.